Hunting is a way of life for a lot of people. Uh, we make memories out of it, we make bonds, uh, we feed our family. It's, it's something that's very important in my life and, uh, and, and it's very important for me to express those things to the people around me. One thing I love the most about the great outdoors is just getting to take all the noise out of the world away. Just getting to go sit in the woods with yourself, with your father, with your brother, to just fully experience what it's like to just hang out in the woods and look for animals. Bueno chicos, aquí estamos en México, ya preparados para la primera cacería de codornices y nada, pues aquí nos separamos y nos vamos para, para allá, vámonos. How was it, dude? How was the ride, the drive, and everything? Not bad. It's not bad at all. Easy cross. Yeah. Did y'all get checked or anything? Yeah. No. Come on. One shot. I told him. I said, look. Buy three, two, these if you want to. I don't need this. $20 that I out him? Give that four tens, give me a 12. Give me a 12. Everybody, give me a 12. Craig shoot a 12 gauge. You got a 10 gauge? I'll shoot that. Mexico, San Fernando Valley. Woo! Hey, my name is Rene Lerma. I'm a guiding for 30 years, over 30 years. I'm Sartre Young. My dad, he was a guy guiding uh, in early 70s, and I grew up with this kind, the guiding and hunting. So. And then we got this beautiful place, uh, make my hunter's dream, hunting in Mexico, hunting ducks uh, migrating from Canada, US, all the way to North Mexico. And we here hunting behind uh, Laguna Madre. In August, September, and October, we have a uh, white wind dove, morning doves that came from Central America. So basically we got a rich country to hunt and do beautiful hunts for experience for everybody. Hunting quail in Mexico. We got a quail, bobo guy quail. That's what we got in this area. And uh, the, the way we hunt quail, I have a Sherman uh, short hairs, pointers, and we drive to those pastures. They can be in sorgo fields, fence roads. That's the way we hunt quails in Mexico. And um, we take my pickup, four wheel drive. We got kennels in the back. We carry eight dogs for morning. We hunt in six to eight, nine, 10, 11, four hours hunting. Wow. And maybe we flash in to 10 to 15 cabbies in the morning. Uh, same thing in the afternoon.
Is your first one? Uh, no, no, I've done before. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. We got exposed pretty good, man. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Go you got a bunch of It's definitely mine. Jesse, you need a kid gauge compared to my 4K over here. Whoa! Whoa! Good! Good! Good about it! One, two, one. Perfect. Hey, good coming rise. That away, boys. Be ready, maybe we're single. Where'd they go? Yeah, good shot. That way, make it behind you. Mark that bar, mark that bar, mark that bar. Mark that bar. Mark that bar. I was over the top. You have it there, eh? Yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, come on over here. Mas, 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 mas. You ready? Flutter down there, and then that one's fucking. That first one was dead. Another 20 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, suits in front of you. You're gonna push him up. Bueno, chicos, punto y final a, a esta jornada de menor. La verdad que ha sido bastante intensa. Y bueno, la verdad que súper divertido con nuestros amigos americanos. Tiran bastante bien, la verdad. Ha salido muchísimo pájaro. Y bueno, mañana nos vamos a por patos. Sí que seguimos con estas jornadas de menor, que la verdad están siendo bastante intensas e interesantes. Vamos a hacer las fotos finales y a seguir. In the morning, in the mornings we left the lodge around four, five in the morning. It depends how far we go. And I got my guys ready with guns and shells. My clients basically the only the only need to do is jump to the van and drive. And I got my guys um, prepare the blind. You know, with we call uh, two leg, which is camouflage the blind. We can put two guys to four guys to six guys, it depends the area. And basically, 
my guys is dropping decoys, you know, five, six dozens in the pens, and it depends the weather. We put the decoys, we play with them because it's not easy, you know, it's, uh, you know, we got this in experience for so many years and we find out the best way to do that. So I give it to my guys uh, those Benelli's and start shooting around. We got light and we got ducks coming back and forth. And after that, you know, we, had, we need to pick them up, those ducks from the water because then we can scare the other ducks, make a better hunt. So basically, that's what we do here in the lodge. <laughs> What we are Loma, to Colorado, San Fernando, Laguna Madre, the duck hunt. So I had, what I have here is a couple pintails. I want to say like a year and a half. I can tell you here in the tail. They migrated from Canada, U.S., and north of Mexico. This is uh, the most smart ducks we have. It's not easy to hunt. So basically, my hunters, that's what they're looking for, pintails. When we got one or two, that's a trophy for the morning or the afternoon. So basically, that's what you want to hunt, pintails. What we have here is uh, three teals, cinnamon teal, blue wind, and green wind. So those ducks is what we hunt in this area. And they're very fast ducks. It's, it's fun to shot those ducks. It's not easy. And they fly in cabbies and flags and 10 to 20. It's very, very smart ducks too. They're so fast. And it's fun to shot those ducks. So we got those three. Same family, but different colors. What I have here is a redhead, dark redhead, beautiful duck, pretty good size, two pounds to two and a half pounds is what I'm going to say it is. But beautiful dark redhead, and the flying cavy and, and flags at 20, 30, 40. They're very, very easy hunting with these kind of ducks. They came to you to your blind easy, but they're pretty ducks. Redhead is what we got. Most ducks in the this area. So how is the morning going? Oh, ducks <laughs> everywhere, platos <laughs> everywhere. That's awesome. We killed, we killed two, I think. Wait. Maybe more.
So how was the experience? Oh, unbelievable, yeah, what a place. My priority here in the lodge is making my clients comfortable, uh, enjoyable, that way they can have a good rest and when they need to go to the hunt, they can be ready and, and rest, enjoy. So we offer beautiful lodge, nice rooms, uh, good service. ¿Dónde estamos? Mira, él es el bueno. ¿Dónde, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Cazar por <ríe> Pero dime algo más. Ahorita vamos, ahorita vamos a bajar los perros al chófilo, al jefe y nos vamos a ir todos en línea. Los perros van a ir trabajando adelante y ya hay una punta del perro y ya nos juntamos todos para disparar esa, esa, esa parvada. Yeah, you know that. Oh, goodness. We got it. We got it. We have a pickup, professional pickup. We got a kennels in the back. We got seats in the back for the clients. They can jump and back and forth easy. The most hunters I can take is three, three hunters for time. Yeah. That way they can be a nice hunt. Not too many people, yeah. more professional. We got the dogs ready. We put two dogs in the morning, start running, flashing cabbies, and then uh, we switch the dogs every 20, 25 minutes, 15 minutes, independent temperature too. So we flash in around to 10 to 15 cabbies in the morning. and. Uh, so basically that's what we do here in Mexico. All my um, dogs, they have experience, two, three years in experience, so they know, they point really well. And we carry two couple guys to help us, you know, help my clients grab the gun, give the shells, walking around with them. So basically that's what we do here in Mexico, the quail hunt. And it's great, great time to do that. All right, round two. Went a little further south today. Look like some good terrain. Quelly Bar is gonna die. Bueno, chicos, día dos cazando codornices. Hemos cambiado totalmente de paraje. Estamos en una zona mucho más montañosa, con mucha más roca, mucho más pasto. Y somos menos, pues han ido otros dos de los chicos a cazar patos. Vamos a ver qué tal. Tiene buena pinta.
cervecería de las codornices aquí en, en México. Espectacular, gente increíble, se ocurran, cacería auténtica. Hemos pateado hoy 18 kilómetros de montaña. Y bueno, esto es Guay, México 2.0. Hoy tuvo una tarde muy perfecta, muy bonita cacería, los cazadores muy contentos, los perros se bajaron excelente. Matamos a tu gusto 35 gobernices y aquí lo esperamos el próximo año. Muchas gracias. So what we do after we hunt the dark quail, uh, we try to give it some uh, same hunters. It's nice to hunt quail, but also it's nice to eat the quail. Fresh meat, delicious, nothing you can buy in the store. So we give them uh, the grill, we can cook them and deep fry. We make a snack for them. Thank you. 